More than a month after Boeing's Starliner lifted off for the International Space Station, two NASA astronauts remained stuck in space after a series of problems with their Boeing spacecraft. Now we know more about the efforts underway to get them home after their first news conference in orbit aboard the ISS. The crew said Wednesday they expect to return once thruster testing is completed on Earth and express confidence in a safe trip home. So I have a feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, the spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. We are actually doing thruster testing as we speak at White Sands, New Mexico, going through that process, uh, trying to replicate what we saw on that flight day two when we were rendezvousing, and we are, we're going to learn from that. And we're going to incorporate new processes, new procedures that we will uh, employ if necessary. The Boeing mission to the ISS should have ended between June 18th and 22nd, but ongoing thruster problems and helium leaks have kept the Starliner in space. Five thrusters failed as the Starliner approached the station June 6th, a day after liftoff. Four have since been brought back online, and the crew believes that will be enough to get them out of orbit. Boeing and NASA say the ground tests are crucial because during the landing process, the part that carries the thrusters will be discarded from the capsule. The helium leaks are also located in the disposable section. The landing date has been pushed back twice before being postponed indefinitely as testing continues. NASA says the ISS has plenty of supplies in orbit and its schedule is relatively open through mid-August. The agency says the pair are integrated with the ISS crew and helping with maintenance tasks. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. If you want more on the Boeing Starliner's return home, download the Straight Arrow News app.